Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Let's take a look at the best Argot Titanium Fridge Press. If this is the kind of thing you like to see, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box, and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. So I have never had a French press, never even used one before. Uh, I have gone to Titanium for an upcoming backpacking trip, so I went with a Titanium Ultralight Cook Set. And carrying an extra pot kind of goes against the grain and against the thought of being ultralight in the first place. So in order for this to be justified going in my bag, it better do a couple functions for me and it better do it well. And this thing has been out of the park. This makes the best coffee I have ever had. So this is my cook kit as it sits right now. And I've got a three and one spork and spoon. So this is a 750 milliliter cup. And there is a lid on here. And I've got a foldable spork that fits in here all the time. I've got a short cup on the bottom. So I'm going to use this primarily as a bowl. So this is, I think, a 450 milliliter short cup. And then I've got this insulated wrap. This insulated wrap comes off. And here is my 750 milliliter pot. So this is the basis of everything I've got. And I can make coffee in this. I can do anything in this cup. Uh, that I'm going to do in the French press, but the French press does it a whole lot better. So these two items are the same size. The pot has a lid and a bale and the handles fold out. So you can drink with it, you can eat with it, you can do a lot of cool things with this. So this has a bale as well and this has fold out handles as well, but the handles are in a different orientation. So this is against the bale so I can actually drink out of it. With this one, I'm in line with the bale. So this isn't gonna work that well to drink out of, but this one has a pour spot in it. So that is gonna work great for, just for boiling water and for filling um, regular dehydrated backpack meals, as well as making coffee and all the other tasks that a French press does so great. So the bale and handles are in a different orientation. It does have a lid, but you see this one has a raised uh, handle on it. And I love that because when the two are in my pack, they look identical. They look nearly identical. So I can always see this and I can ID it and I know which one's my French press and which one is my cook kit. So when I pull this out, there is a strainer. And this all comes apart if you have to for cleaning, but I never really have taken it apart yet. You see there's a fine screen. And then there's like a wire spring that kind of gives it its form. And this fits in this cup like exactly. There is no no room for any coffee grounds to get around this. So this has a storage bag just like the other Best Argot Pot does. And it fits in here just fine. It's not overly tight and you really don't have to strain to get the bale in. I do use this and I keep it in here just because it gives a little added layer of protection. Because I've been using this so much I've got this down to science. I'm going to fill this cup up with water I'm going to heat it up and then I'm going to add three tablespoons of coffee. So the water's hot, so I'm going to put three tablespoons of coffee, stir it up, and then let it sit five minutes. Now, I've made cowboy coffee in the past or used a drip filter. So with cowboy coffee, you don't stir it up. That's something I had to learn. And you've got to give it its five minutes or the coffee doesn't have the strength that you're after. Now I am doing a separate video right this second on the Black Rifle Coffee Company, Just Black. This came in the Crate Club, April's Crate Club. If this is something you're interested in seeing, I'll put a link in the description for the other video. So the coffee's sitting right now and I'm giving it its full five minutes so I get the best flavor out of the coffee. But I just want to talk about the versatility of the pot and why I chose to carry it. So this is, first of all, it's just a pot. So I can use this for boiling water, I can use this for eating, I can use this for any of the other functions that a normal steel cup does. This one has a spout and the handles are in a different position. But once the French press assembly is out of there, I'm just dealing with a metal cup. So. I can use that for a lot of different functions. 
Now with the screen in use, I can use that to strain things. So if I was making a pasta dish or if I was boiling wild edibles or boiling medicinal plants or making a dye for that matter, any of the standard bushcraft tasks, instead of using a handkerchief to strain off the material, I can use the screen on this French press. And there is nothing getting through that screen. This is much finer than using my bandana or using a shemag or anything that I have done in the past. So it's been its five minutes and now to use this, we're gonna press this down like a plunger and it's that simple. So let's give this thing a press all the way down. Now all the grounds are captured in the bottom of the pot. So here's the coffee and you're gonna find zero grounds. When you make cowboy coffee, you have to kind of splash, splash the rim a little bit because some of those grounds are boiled up on the side. You can pour this all the way to the bottom and you're not gonna get any grounds whatsoever. So if you like drinking coffee, you probably should be adding a French press. And if you're gonna add a French press anyway, it might as well be titanium. So check out this best art got. I would definitely recommend it. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.